Hey guys, this is JJ Andy from Crypto Gunners here and today we have Juan, the CEO from Mobu. Hey Juan, can you give a shout out to our viewers here? Uh, good day JJ, uh, good day, welcome uh, I to all the viewers out there. Thank you for the opportunity. Right, okay, so um, Juan, tell us where you are right now. I'm currently based in Pretoria, that is the capital of South Africa. I know uh, when we travel abroad, they always uh, like to compare with Johannesburg since the airport is there and it's more familiar. Right. But actually, Pretoria is the capital of South Africa. Wow, okay, great place. I would love to go there. <laughs> okay, so uh, Juan, can you tell us more about Mobu? Um, Mobu is a decentralized and entity solution for launching security tokens. Mm -hmm. um, it's sometimes the easiest said to, to compare to Polymath uh, since they have a very similar uh, protocol. Yep. Um, we, we came across the idea when we launched Zabu Coin a year ago, and we realized what, how difficult it is to actually launching a security token, a compliance security token for that matter. And um, every, every day we get approached about between 50 and 100 ICO service providers, and 80% of them are mis all mispriced. Mm -hmm. uh, or as we all know, there's a lot of scams out there. Now, for that reason, we want to create a marketplace, an ecosystem with vetted uh, service providers and the ability to launch security tokens. Now, I think we all agree out of the three uh, type of tokens here, there are so utility tokens, currency tokens, and security mm. tokens. Yep. Um, security tokens are by far the most lucrative as it represents ownership of something and it gives investors the opportunity to receive uh, dividends and profits back at the end of the day. Right. So actually, you just answered my second question, which is what, what do you see in the future for security tokens? Where do you think you'll hit in the crypto market in the next few years to come? Um, I think we've barely touched uh, the, the security token market since there's also no no uh, secondary market for it as of yet. Yep. I know T0 and GPAX are in the process of, of uh, launching compliant security token exchanges. Um, but I believe... As we progress, contracts, uh, bonds, uh, securities, uh, future CFDs, everything will effectively move to the blockchain. Mm -hmm. As as it is, there is endless benefits, as we said on our website as well, uh, in terms of uh, cost, real time execution, uh, faster deal transactions, uh, cross border funding. It offers endless benefits. And uh, I, I read a, a guy's statement recently, what I love, and it's. This is not revolution. This is simple progress of humanity. Wow, great outlook for the market. So what does Mobile intend to solve? You know, what kind of solution do you provide for projects, right, that would like to create their own security token? What was the unique selling point of Mobile? Yeah, there's two things. One being, it is a legal, regulatory, and technical nightmare launching a security token. That is one. Mm -hmm. uh, two being, creating a vetted marketplace for ICO service providers. Now, to give you an idea, our first... Uh, smart contracts of uh, after all the scams that we scamming providers we had to pay for almost cost a hundred thousand yeah. dollars now we're doing it for about five thousand mm. dollars now that is a huge difference in price for more or less the same execution by by offering better service providers you get lower barrier to entry with lower pricing and better quality this will ensure more successful icos in the future right Okay, so this is a question from our team, right? So Mobile states that it is confident of getting listed on an exchange um, based on a white paper. So are, you, are there currently talks with, with other exchanges? Um, we have talks with uh, HitPTC, Cryptomia, uh, mm -hmm. Livecoin, etc. But let's be honest, they list all, to all utility tokens. So that is not really a, a tap on the shoulder, I would say. But we've been recently approached by a banker and I'm sure you're familiar that Laker, L-Y-K-K-E, is mm -hmm. one of the partners of Amazix. And uh, Amazix is, is the number one ICO PR firm in the world and also um, well known as our PR firm for, for mobile. So to answer your question, uh, more specifically, we have engaged with Laker and Banco, um, right. but it will easily get listing on HitPTC, Cryptopia, Livecoin, etc. since mobile is utility token at the end of the day. Right. So, all right, this is based on the understanding of the white paper. So what is the difference between an abstract smart contract and a regular smart contract? And, uh, well, it actually feels like essentially the same thing. Um, and what we want to know is mobile is focusing on ICOs that are specifically security tokens, right? So we want to understand what's the difference between an abstract and a regular. 
Very good question, JJ. Yep. Um, I love, I'll see Charles a great explanation for this. Now, more or less, um, the way he, he uh, taught me that actually is, let's say the abstract is a vehicle, argument's sake. Now, the basic criteria for a vehicle must have, for argument's sake, must have wheels and an engine. Now, the vehicle can take up many forms. It can be four by four, it can be a scooter, it can be a limo, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. uh, all the extras will be the regular contracts that inherits from the abstract contract. So the abstract contract will be the bare minimum basics for a compliance security token. And it can take very different forms from the, in the regular contracts that inherits from the abstract contract. Wow, okay. So how does mobile plan to offer SEC approval. Now, we all know SEC has a certain jurisdiction, you know, especially in the US, you know, it could actually spread. Um, so we're wondering on that, you know, how, how, to, how does mobile plan to actually get um, approval from SEC or, you know, trying to, yeah. So, so what's the plan? Mm. You get the SEC exemption for, for, for ICO for accredited investors, actually not that a difficult process once you've been through it. Um, it's always easier. Hindsight is perfect science, but, um, we, we intend to, to establish a network of authorized centers and also the vetted uh, approved KY, not KYC, legal providers on the, in the mobile ecosystem mm -hmm. um, who will ensure the ACC approval of, of all these uh, ICOs on the mobile platform. Right. So what banks are currently in collaboration with mobile to provide um, fiat to crypto services? Okay. Luckily, it's not we don't have the problem of, of converting fiat to crypto and vice versa. Mm -hmm. um, we've, we, uh, I must be honest, we are still busy establishing uh, the, those partnerships. We've opened a lot of uh, conversations with a lot of banks. Mm -hmm. uh, we recently uh, visited Malta. Uh, and the only bank there that is against cryptocurrency is the Bank of Valletta. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm, not, don't, I'm not sure if you're familiar, but Binance is currently situated yep. in Malta. And we found out which bank uh, they're banking with. Right. Um, but also most of the banks, they are very pro-crypto. Mm -hmm. And as an easy interim solution, what the, the blockchain community they use is an app called Revolut. Now, from my understanding, it's open to the whole of EU. Uh, and it's very easy to open an account up to 60,000 uh, euros right. uh, without any uh, compliance uh, that needs to be engaged with that up above that then this progress it's okay what the standard uh, kyc aml uh, mm -hmm. procedures that needs to be followed mm -hmm. um but that's that's a few of the interim solutions we're looking at and we've also uh came across uh, individuals that have a bank own banking licenses in malta uh they're based in romania and the uk right uh, but i would like to have something more fixed in black and white uh, before we can uh, disclose those names at this stage. I understand. All right. So, so one quick question here. So currently, Mobile is based in, in South Africa, right? So where is it geographically that you are expanding or planning to expand into? Like security tokens based in the European Union, in the EU region, or it's really more international? So what's the plan? We will start our rollout in South Africa. Um, I'm considering, we, our team is considering moving, immigrating to Malta or uh, Astana in Kazakhstan, mm -hmm. just for the simple reason it's the most crypto friendly environment. Yep. And Astana offers 50, 50 years tax free uh, for, for immigrants. Wow. Um, that, that will be the best interest of the investors as well. Right. But um, we, we work closely next to uh, Blockchain Advisory in Malta. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, I, I can see us forming a strong partnership there in the future. This is the legal team that assists the government in setting up the, regula the regulatory framework uh, for cryptocurrency and blockchain in Malta. So that will definitely... Uh, but make, think, make the road for us much easier going forward. Right. Okay, so this particular question, it's more on utility, right? Um, it's really comparing, it's really comparing, if let's say I have a, I have a security token I want to launch, right? Um, why would I not choose an ERC way? Why would I not push you know, on Ethereum or, you know, competitor kind of thing? Why would I not launch it um, by Ethereum and why would I need to pick a mobile? What, what is the edge there? Great. That's a very good question. Well, 
in South Africa, we got something called SABS. It is a standard of quality and service, a quality of good service in South Africa. Mm-hmm. Now, we intend to, to create that similar standard in the security market environment, the stamp of approval that everybody knows it is a, a, approved, a compliant security token. Now, the benefit for, for the IC issuers would be, one, that. Two, we might potentially... Uh, offer financial support in launching the, the, the security token. And we'll definitely su- support in terms of uh, bulk marketing campaigns through all the uh, uh, marketing services uh, on, on the mobile platform. Right. Um, just, yeah, the, the bulk marketing effect, uh, the Groupon effect, if I can call it that, um, to ensure they got lower pricing uh, and easier b- barrier to enter into launching compliant uh, security token. Right. Um, this is something to do with um, Ethereum, right? So Vitalik actually introduced the idea of DICO, right? And which releases funds on a pro rata basis to ICO based on completion of a specific milestone. Um, very similar to what you guys are describing on a white paper. So um, do you have any contingency if he really manages to you know, deliver that milestone on Ethereum blockchain? This is a simple example of there's not only one restaurant in the world, there are plenty and they all can make... Uh, they will survive at the end of the day. Now, I think it's definitely a good suggestion, but this mm-hmm. is the simple effect of the moment you got competition, you know you, you're solving an actual problem. And right. I believe this is a big problem in the current uh, ICO industry. Uh, there's a lot of scammers still out there, and we need a more governed industry. Mm-hmm. Um, I can assure you our ICO issues, the current ones we've got with our large companies will still remain with us, and this will be a... Uh, non-effect, um, but going forward for the other ten thousand companies that want to launch in this this way, I can I can see your concern. But kindly know this is an add-on benefit, and this is not the main focus of launching a security token. All right. So do you have a pipeline or MOU with certain projects currently? You know that are intending to use Mobi, uh, Mobu, sorry, in the near near future. Yeah. Yes, we actually have. Um, it is also stated in our white paper. Mm-hmm. Uh, Etienne Pretorius, a good friend of mine, we were at Varsity together. Um, he was awarded the Entrepreneur of the award, uh, Year Award by one of the largest banks in South Africa wow. uh, for a property development did about 10, 15 years ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he's a very large player in the, in the uh, real estate development. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he intends to launch a, a blockchain-based property development we got Mike Prinsler. He was one of the, he's probably the man that has moved the most gold, physical gold around the, uh, the world ever. He was the CEO of uh, Bundru that was listed on Toronto Stock Exchange, mm-hmm. uh, Goldfields, based in South Africa. Um, uh, um, Ashanti Gold, also CEO of that company, and, and a few others. Uh, sorry, the others slipped my mind, but now. No we also got uh, Wayne van der Berg. He started the van der Berg Group. Mm-hmm. It is an over a billion dollar uh, coal mining company. Uh, he intends to tokenize a few coal mines uh, in the Middleburg, Bitbank area in South Africa. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we got something I've not seen in the ICO world before, the mobile initiatives, we call it. Mm-hmm. Now, this, this is a few extra products we intend to, to develop on mobile's platform if we achieve certain... Um, Masters. Goals in, in, in the fundraise, and right. the one will be a, a crowd farming uh, ICO, and the other one will be a forex spam accounts. Now, mm-hmm. blockchain is used for information that needs to be exposed, uh, t- t- transparent information. Now, we believe a forex percentage allocation money management account would solve a lot of problems in the asset management industry, mm-hmm. um, because coming from that background, I know that fund managers tend to not compare apples to apples when they disclose uh, their fund performances, their fund fees, or assets under management. Mm-hmm. Using blockchain technology, that will be easy, accessible, transparent, and it can't be altered. Um, so there's definitely a need for the, in the market for that, and I've not seen anybody uh, pursue that field yet. And it's also a massive market. Uh, right. the, the, the crypto, the, not the crypto, the currency market uh, is the forex market. It's about a five trillion dollar market daily. Yeah, yeah. So, um, Juan, so you mentioned your background and your experiences. So, what background experiences do you have pre- previously? Well, um, I've been passionate about the stock market since I was a little boy. I bought my first shares at the age of fifteen. Wow. Um, I 
did all the technical analysis courses throughout varsity and school. Mm -hmm. And I also actually did a, a, a computer science uh, um, course uh, in, in, in when I was still standard nine. I was, uh, I was awarded the, uh, the scholar of the year. I mm -hmm. uh, got like 97% or something for this course. Wow. Um, it was actually an after, after school course. Mm -hmm. uh, but the most interesting thing is I, I was a trader, did my articles at BDO, the fifth largest audit firm in the world. Mm -hmm. um, we started to Brom and Paul, we, to give them an eye, started to, uh, some of the largest cryptocurrency mines, mining operations in the Southern Hemisphere. All right. Um, unfortunately, as you know, the market got a little bit flooded last year. Mm -hmm. So the, I think there's a lot of big players now. Um, and also, um, I, we started Evolve Fund Manage about six years ago with uh, the partners of one of the largest proprietary trading stockbroking firms in South Africa, Golding Store in the Dakar. Yeah. Um, yeah, and Rui Gobel. Rui Gobel is also a well-known name in the business industry in South Africa. Wow. Yeah. All right. Great, great. Okay. So um, one last question. Um, any, any last few statements you want to share with our viewers here about mobile? Anything? Okay. Um, we, we, we did an ICO last year. And I know how difficult it is to launch the compliant token for a start. But I also know that our ICO also has to have actual blockchain use. Mobile has actual blockchain use that we just discussed. Our white paper has been ordered by some of the best teams in the world, including mm -hmm. Luno Labs, uh, Amazix, uh, Cointelegraph, uh, The Real Start, uh, they changed their name to the uh, Block Crunch Capital recently. Mm -hmm. um, we got a strong team, we got an experienced team, we got strong advisors. Um, and after Zabuk, when we are experienced in the ICO industry, and and I trust this will be uh, a successful ICO and a good product at the end of the day. This is a, this is a need uh, that the market currently has, and I believe our timing is perfect on this. All right. Okay, thank you, Juan. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, I think you did a brilliant um, explanation for mobile and what it's up. Okay, if you were here of Google Grinders, if you want more details on mobile, click on the links below. There's, there's going to be a website and telegram group of mobile, and we'll put more details underneath the YouTube channel here, right at the bottom. All right. Um, thank you so much, Juan. Thank you for sharing. Uh, and uh, yeah, cheers. Uh, I hope to be able to visit South Africa one day too. Okay. Thank you, JJ. Appreciate it. All right. Take care, Juan. Yeah. Thank you, Juan. Take care. Thank you.